This is the Mariah Report. News, pop culture, and all things Mariah Carey. Welcome back, it's the Mariah Report. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. We're back in the same room. Yes, hello. What's you, up? You have made it back finally from the New York City. It let me go, finally. Yes. You almost like were traveling over back over here like with Mariah, because she's in LA too now. Oh yeah, she was in New York when I was in New York <laughs> and now she's over here. I know, I know, and we got, oh my God, we have so much to talk about. I didn't even know that we were going to have this much to talk about. So many unexpected moments happened. Exactly. Mariah was hitting the streets over there in New York, and now she's hitting the streets over here. Hitting the stage, oh. hitting things all over. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we have a jam-packed show for you, but um, but welcome back. Welcome back to LA. Thank you. You know, <laughs> when I left New York uh, last year, I guess it's been a year since I left, really, um, I was yeah. in a bad mood about the place, you know, it was the pandemic and I was living there too long, just wasn't in a good situation. And this trip was actually sort of healing because I had a good time. It sort of wooed me back in. And so I had a great time. So happy, but happy to be back in LA as well. Yes. Yes. I mean, the thing about New York is it's just so lovable. Like it's addictive almost. When it's lovable, it's lovable. But when it's bad, it's bad too. Oh, like the winter. <laughs> I yeah. think I'll always have like a love-hate relationship with New York. You well, know, that's the thing. When you live there, that's what happens. I think when you're a visitor, you find the lovableness of it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you know you're leaving. We'll see. We'll see what it's like when I go back there, which is gosh knows when, but eventually I will. Okay. Well, the thing is, like, it's very different from when we were there too. Oh. Very overpriced, very expensive now. Uh, all the all I think our favorite things are all shut down. Oh no. Basically, it's a, it did feel like a different city. Well, in I mean, some ways, but then uptown, like 125th Street uh-huh. and like Lennox, that was a whole new vibe. So maybe and it's Lennox. moved. Okay. So like sort of uh, east-ish, not all the way east. All right. Had some good times up there. Mar- Mariah's family church, that region. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm, yeah. I'm very familiar. Very mm-hmm. familiar. I love it over there. You know, I still like follow a lot of like um, community, like Facebook groups and stuff like that from my old neighborhood. Right. And I see all kinds of new things popping up, little restaurants, little shops and this and that, or, you know, um, down by like 125th by the river on the west side yes that whole area is like totally new oh yeah yeah because like they like that that um under the bridge yes under the bridge yes because that grocery store was there but now it's not there anymore the fairway that's where i got covid oh really the original one. Oh, they were you just allegedly, picked it up, you allegedly. just picked it up off the street over there okay I, no i could tell <laughs> that was like you know when you just know that's the spot because uh, you know, when I was in there getting groceries, it was in that time before they said wear masks or, or they're saying don't wear masks. Uh-huh. Um, and I could see the workers were sick, coughing, mm. splattering. I was like, this is it. Like, this is where yeah. this well, is the moment. Girl, that'll do it. And I got it. That'll do it. I love that little area down over there, it's by the way. Super water. cute. Super they got cute. that that um ship on the on the uh, docked over there. Yeah. You can go on it and it's like yeah. a little bar, restaurant. I used to live right by there on uh, like 130, 142nd, I think I lived, or 141st. Oh, really? Riverside, when I first got to New York, it was one of my first apartments. So I used to walk down there all the time just to, I was broke, so I used to just walk around Gr- and check g- it out. Yes, honey. Hang I mean, out. Walk in. Walk in. That was my <laughs> entertainment, walking around, looking at things. Walk in, girl. <laughs> walk in. <laughs> Um, no, I, I feel like I'm, I'm such a, I'm like a lifetime walker. Like I have a car now and like, I want to walk to target and I'm like, why target is like a 15 minute walk from here. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just going to walk. I could just get in the car and be back in 10 minutes with these prices of gas. (gasps) Okay. True. (laughs) Stick to walking. (laughs) True, true, true. No, but I love, I love a good walk. I love a good walk. Um, do you know what's weird about New York? So about this trip is something happened. I fell in love with the song, um, where I belong, the Buster Rhymes song. Oh, really? I don't know. It just somehow started clicking with me and boom, okay. I'm in love. It's the vibe. It's a whole vibe. It's the vibe. I've been playing it on repeat. It took oh a while. God. How long has it been out? A couple of years now? Oh no. It's only been like maybe a year. No. Yes. What year is this? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's been longer than that. Well, because when you were just saying, oh, you know, basically you and I moved out here a year ago. Yeah. I feel like I've been here for 10 years. 
Right. Girl, I have just, just so much has changed I that yeah. I feel like it's just been such an extended amount of time that I've lived here, but it's really only been 14 months, which yes, is nothing. Yes. You came out before me. Yeah. And so you've been here just 12. July 4th is my anniversary. Oh, is that? Oh. Well, this month, this yeah, week. Yeah, that's right here. Yeah, this week. Here we are. Look at that. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there's been just so much change that it feels like it's been longer mm -hmm. than a year. I feel like it, like, I, girl, time is flying. I know. Time is flying. It's wild. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get into what Mariah's doing. Now, last week we were talking about the Bros movie. Right, right. She was in the streets. Yes, um, in the streets. Cute. New all loved, loved <laughs> yes. it. Loved it with Billy Eichner and whatnot. And there was some rumors floating around that her heartbreaker song was going to be in the movie, but we didn't. We did not have that confirmed yet. However, well, we were suspicious because it was getting used in like social media moments. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think we've heard it. No, I think I saw someone do a story. Like maybe it was Billy or someone used. No, didn't she use it as like pro a promo clip? Maybe it was the remix, Heartbreaker remix, Club Mix. Yes, you she, saw, maybe I don't think well, I've I saw seen that any. myself. Okay, <laughs> I saw that with my <laughs> it eyes. Could be out there. Yes, but I think Billy has officially sort of made it a, a thing that it's going to be used at a very pivotal moment in the movie. Now, do we know if it's the regular version or the Club Mix? I think it's the Club Mix because I think there's a, there's a time when they're in the club. And like, I think that's when Billy like meets that guy. Oh. Did you watch the trailer? I did. Okay. So like there, like he meets the guy in the club. I did. Yes. I think that's when it's going to be used. Oh. Or something like that. Interesting. You know what I mean? Cool. So I don't know. I'm excited to see the movie. It looks super cute. Yeah. Totally cute. Yeah. And Mar you know, if Mariah's a part of it, sign me up. But I love how her music is now making its way into like movies and all that kind of stuff, even she, commercials, yes. everything. It's being used, like fantasy is getting used in the, uh, what was that Ryan Reynolds, what's it called? Free Guy. Free Guy. Yes, and the Always Be My Baby and Always Be My Maybe. Right, yes. Yeah, it's getting, all of that. She's making money. Girl, that's what you got to do with these things. Yeah. And I used to be so like, I don't know, irritated that she wasn't putting her music in any of movies or they mm. weren't putting it in like the latest, you know, commercial or Super Bowl commercial. But now she's, I think she's very um, smartly choosing where she's putting her music and I love it. Mm -hmm. So I agree. I agree. I can't wait to see the movie. Um, speaking of fantasy. Yes. We have a little Funko toy. That's right. A new one. Okay. So, cause, okay. Funko is like the little, the little dolls, right? Little collectible dolls. How big are they? I think like that. I, I don't think. know. They look squishy. Squished. Mm -hmm. I thought they're plastic. Squished down. I mean, like squished. <laughs> it looks little. <laughs> <laughs> they look like cubes to me, but okay. Yeah. Um, but we've, we've had one for Merry Christmas. Right. Which was good and popular. And now we're doing one with fantasy. Okay. Well, what I like is that we are getting this other action from Mariah, the fantasy, the heartbreaker and stuff getting used. So we're getting other stuff outside of Christmas is happening. Yes, thank God. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I do love that. I love when Mariah is appreciated outside of Christmas. <laughs> Honey, because these people, like we're going to talk about the BET awards later, but I was scrolling through the social medias, of course, and somebody was like, oh, do you know what it takes to unthaw Mariah before Christmas? Like they, they put a lot of effort into getting her there. And I was like, you're shady, but that's also funny. <laughs> oh, so man. we love it. We love it. I love seeing Mariah out there. And I like when the general public, cause I don't know, like Funko is like a, a collectible toy, right? I think people in who are into like the anime and the Pokemon and like, that stuff, <laughs> they're into <Okay>. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not my crowd, but I'm glad. I'm glad Mariah's there for them. It's a thing. It is. It is. Comic book people, Comic Con. Those okay. Folk. Yes. All that. Yeah. yeah I feel that. I feel it. that. I love that. Yeah. I love it. It's a crowd. How much does one of those little things cost? I think it's like 40 bucks <laughs> <laughs> or less. 40 bucks. There's a range. Apparently, like if you, there's some that are worth hundreds and hundreds, they're collectibles. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I guess if, you know, I've now I'm, I'm thinking Beanie Baby when I think of them. Well, yes. how like the Beanie Babies were like very collect. Did you have those grown up? 
I, I never bought them, but I've seen multiple YouTube documentaries about oh. the phenomenon <laughs> of the Beanie Baby. I think I had a couple Beanie Babies, but like they they were in no way, shape, or form collectible. Because <laughs> bitch, <laughs> something was happening with them, <laughs> tossing over here, throwing it at your brother, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I, now I feel like the Funko was sort of like the new generation of that. Uh. So like you want to like save it in the box and everything, and then yeah. maybe one day it'll be worth something. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. All right. Well, good for them. They got a new little Funko toy, honey. Yeah. Well, I imagine at some point Mariah fans in the future are going to be like, oh, I want that Funko and they're not available. Our gen, our today us had them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Should we be buying those? Uh, that's what I was just yeah. thinking. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, do we need one? <laughs> and are they fungible? Oh, honey. <laughs> so wait, I think they are fungible. Because we can exchange them for money. No, they're replicated. You can you can substitute it with another one. Okay. Because there's so many of them. Yes. It's it's substitutable, which is what I learned. While you were over there in New York, I went to the soccer game and I got so much sun and I loved it. And I uh, learned a little bit about fungibility from my friend, also named Martin. Uh -huh. And he said it's subs it's, it's substitutability. That makes is sense. What it is. That makes sense. And now I get that. Yes. Because some things cannot be substituted. Yes. But a Funko toy can be substituted because there's... If you lose it, you can get another one. Yeah. Unless there's like a limited edition or like just like a limited number. But still, if there's 5,000 of them... They're around. They're around. Yeah. So it's fungible. I guess. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's available if you're into that. I love it. I Funko love it. Toy. How many more did we have? Was there two Christmas ones or one other one? I there's two others. I think there? there's only just the Chris one Christmas one. There, were there two? I think there's two of them. Two Christmas ones. Oh lord, we're way behind in the times. Then this is going to be her third. I think it is. Oh wow. All right. Well, I don't know. Funko fans, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'll let us know. Please. They will let us know. Um, well, make sure also, uh, actually, can you please tell us for real and make sure you're following us at the Mariah Report on the socials, Twitter, Instagram. And if you haven't done so yet on your podcast app, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, hit follow. And so you get new episode alerts from us. And that also helps the show grow, helps the algorithm. And help us out. Our YouTube page is almost at a thousand. Yes. Yes. Now you can see us here over in this uh, pink yet lavender room. We're working on the, <laughs> you know, what do you call it? The vibe, I guess. Yes. <laughs> um, but we're here. We're over here on the YouTube for you. So please uh, hit subscribe. It makes a difference yes. for us. And and like. You got to the like. They say you got to smash the like. Smash that and leave a comment. Tell us about uh, the Funkos, please. <laughs> exactly. All the things. Help us out, please. Yes, please do. Please we need do. It. We need it. Um, okay, so w when Mariah was over there in New York, she also did the Songwriter Hall of Fame, yes. which we discussed and we talked about the speech and all of that. But we just recently got sort of new um, BTS behind the scenes photos. Official. Mm -hmm. From Getty Images. Yes, yes. And it's, it's of her holding the award. Yeah. And she changed outfits. Yes, and I think um, the outfit, uh, she should have just wore that. Uh, same. So casual, cute. Perfect. Beautiful. Here to collect Simple. my award. Yes, collect her award and go home, girl. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I, do we know what designer that dress was? Was it a, a Cavalli or? It looked I like think it, it was a Cavalli. like a Cavalli. Maybe it was a Cavalli. But uh, like a nice silk moment that she's been giving us a lot, a lot of lately. Mm -hmm. Black on the top, leopard on the bottom. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. No, 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 no more needed. Yes. Girl, throw a little leopard in there. Done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so I do love that we're getting sort of new uh, photos of that and, and having an actual photo with her in the award is, is great. So it's just good to see her like with the award because when she was on the, at the podium, you couldn't, you really couldn't see anything. You couldn't see the dress. You just see, you know, the neck up and she and had the glasses on and stuff. And everything was like far away. Photos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I love that we have that little moment. Yeah. Songwriter. That's love the it. one you frame. Yes, of course, of course. Uh -huh. I bet they use, they're going to use that, the Songwriter Hall of Fame. People are probably going to use that for like, you know, the all their yeah official things and stuff like that. So you need like that actual photo. True. Um, 
But yeah, Songwriter Hall of Fame. Speaking of songwriter, though, now you might have to fill me in on this because I'm not a Spotify person, but Mariah just, the Spotify just came out. Tell me what it is, because I thought it was just an article of her, you know, talking about her songwriting, how she writes songs and things of that nature. Mm. But it's more than that. It's like, a, is it's, it's a playlist. So... So she was on a podcast, uh, which I'm forgetting real quick. What was it called? Notable. Notable. Talking Notable. about songwriting and, you know, her catalog and her process, et cetera, et cetera. Because Spotify has released a playlist called Written by Mariah. Oh, okay. I'm going to pull it up so we can go through the list together. Uh, okay. Because here's the gag. It's not just her album tracks. There's also songs that she has written from other people or they used a sample of hers. That's in the list. So there's other people included. Okay. So now hold on one second. So Notable is a Spotify podcast. Right. Okay. Because Mariah on her story posted little clips mm -hmm. of, of her talking. Is it a whole podcast or is it just clips? Because I read an article and it was just a basic interview. Question, answer, question, answer. But now I see that Mariah answered them vocally and not just, it's not just written. True. Yes. But is it a whole podcast episode? I think it is. I didn't get, I saw the clips and I read it too. Oh, see, we might, well, I might have to listen to the whole podcast though. Or I don't know. Sometimes I just read it and, you know. Well, as I read everything, I was like, oh, yeah. this is, there's only five questions here. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, anyways, so let's, let's see what the playlist is. Okay. Well, that's the, I guess, coincide with the playlist. So if you go to Spotify, there's a type in written by Mariah and then this comes up. So it's basically whatever she penned. All right. Yeah. But this, um, what are what are? Tell me some notable ones. This uh, our regulars are in there. Okay, the always be my babies, the all I want, all the friends, all the friends. we belongs. But here's what stand. Here, let me tell you about um, other people are in there. Okay, let's see. So Bryson Tiller, a song called "Don't." Okay. Now I listened to it. It was um, he starts singing a little bit of "Shake It Off." Mm hmm. You see, so it's not an original Mariah song, but "Shake It Off." But yeah, because she's the writer of that. Yeah. Uh, emotionless Drake song. Oh yes, yes. Um, a song called "Say You Do." Did you listen to that one? I have not yet. Who's the artist? Uh, DJ Fresh, Imani Williams, and Sigala. Okay, interesting. Now, uh, just now, but these seem like they're just songs that have sampled Mariah, though. But she wrote the sample. Well, yes, yeah, she wrote the sample. But I mean, there's also songs that Mariah has like written full songs for other people. We'll get that. Calm oh, down. okay. Relax. Okay. okay. <laughs> We're working through the list. <laughs> uh, there's a song called Like Mariah featuring Tiger. Fifth Harmony. Oh, oh, I love that song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a we cute one. Song. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I bop to that. Uh, Feel Away featuring James Blake and uh, Mount Kimby, I believe. Oh, I don't know that one. We'll have to investigate that. Yeah. That's why go check out the list. Go I'm now I want, but yeah. but I can't get this on the app. I have to I have Spotify on my computer though, right? I think I do. You can, I guess. I uh a song called Head Over Heels. Oh yes, from Allure. Uh-huh. Oh, love that one. But I don't know if it's Allure singing it. It says Sultan and Shep Sultan plus Shepherd and James Rowe. Oh, then maybe it's not the one I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Oh, the roof back in time is on there. Heroe by Il Devo. Oh, they've done Heroe. Oh, I did not know that. Uh huh. All right, so I might a lot have of, to, lot I, gems, gems, gems. gems. Uh, another head over heels. Is that one by the Lure? No. Oh. <laughs> Wait, this. Where are you? Christmas is in here. Oh yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. See? Those are the songs. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Because yep. I think people know that song because the movie. Right. It's exactly. so popular. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a couple of other gems like, where I was like, oh, this is interesting. Um, Lover Boy, so Lonely is in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the mix. This is actually a really good list now that I'm looking at. Someone to Hold, Trey Lorenz. Oh, yes. Little oh, Trey yes. Lorenz in there. Love a classic Trey Lorenz moment. And I'm going to say that's it, but there's definitely more in here because I was digging all the way down. Oh, he carves the best roast beef. From um, The Grinch Christmas. She wrote some music on that. Really? Yes. I think that was the one I wanted to... Um... Interesting. Help Me Find a Way to Your Heart, Daryl Hall. She's credited for that. 
Girl. Uh huh. Interesting. There for you, there for me, Jodie McBrayer. Uh huh. Uh, I might have to check some of these out. I lose control, Penny Ford. Okay. Yes. Now wait. Now that's in, that's an interesting one because I think. I think Mariah has a version of that one. And it reminds me, we're going to take a break in a couple of minutes, but I think I lose control. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong, because I probably am. But I think that was one of the songs she recorded for her debut album. And they wanted it to like be a, a single or something. Oh, but instead she, she, they like scrapped it or something. And then eventually gave it to Penny Ford. And I recently came across like a, a clip of it from somewhere. And I was like, I cannot imagine this being, a single from Mariah's debut album. I really? just can't. But I bet she, she obviously probably has a recorded version of it. And I'm sitting here waiting for the rarities part two. Uh, well, <laughs> apparently she gives you what you ask for these days, like runway. Absolutely. Yeah. Y- yes, yes. With some patience, you shall receive. Exactly. Um, but before we go to a break, there was another clip that I saw about um, Narda Michael Walden, who wrote... Um, I don't want to cry and a couple, a couple other songs on her debut album was doing a podcast recently. And he was talking about how amazing Mariah is to work with. And they wrote like four songs together and they, there's one that like it wasn't released and it's still sort of like in the vault and they're thinking about getting back together and um, maybe releasing that one day. It was very interesting. Interesting. How he was explaining how, you know, Mariah writes all her music and stuff. It's very good. Very good. Mm-hmm. But anyway, she's a songwriter. Th- honey, that? that's what she does. Yeah, did you know that? <laughs> Apparently, people don't know that. <laughs> well, as a songwriter, as a songwriter, <laughs> people should know that. But um, all okay, right, let's take a quick break. Let's, and we will be back talking about the BET Awards. And we're back. Yes, welcome back. Now the time has come for all the Mariah in the streets over here in LA. Yes, she left New York, came to LA, surprise after surprise. Was I know, right? Yes. I w- just like in New York, like we didn't know that any of this stuff was coming up other than the Songwriter Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. So she comes over here to LA and she's immediately on the stage. And then what, two days later, she's on the stage with the mic. Mm-hmm. Girl, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. W- you almost can't handle it. Too much was happening. It's too much all at once. I know. But I love it. I love it. This is what we sort of have been waiting for. Exactly. We've been asking for these yes. moments. Okay. Uh-huh. So moment number one, she was presenting an award to Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. So we see her. She gets on the stage with Tiffany Haddish, who, who we, we love. Yes. We Well, I don't know if we love her, but she's in the Christmas special. So we... She, well, she narrated our Christmas yes. special. <laughs> so we know her. We know her. Wait, we don't love her? I don't know. I've heard things. Like what? Oh, I don't know. Like what? Well, girl, we have to talk. Wait, tell me no. <laughs> I don't know. Is she problematic? Maybe. What's she going to do? I don't know. Stephen Wallace was telling me about it. Oh, no. Yes, girl. <laughs> we'll circle back to this <laughs> okay. situation. Wait, so we're not friends with her? No, we're friends with her. I just think, I, I can't remember what he told me that she's crazy. Oh. But yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I don't know. Who isn't? I don't know. But exactly. Anyways. Okay. Well, they're on the stage together now. (laughs) And so Mariah and her are doing jokes, I guess. Fun to see Mariah joking around. Yes. They were laughing and all those things. I saw small clips, but I saw a bunch of photographs. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was cute. Cute moments. She looked great. A little, you know, what do they call that? Like an LBD. Yes. A little black dress. Yes. Yes. Loved it. She looked great. That's what I like. She wasn't like too done up. She wasn't too glam. Yeah. She was like the perfect sort of, you know. This is what I natural. Yeah. But here's what I don't like about the big gowns, (laughs) the Christmas part two gown the gown and train like Uh the whole mess is that she can't move i like when she wears something that is movable yes absolutely we do love that we do love that because then i feel comfortable (laughs) yeah and we know nothing is going to happen there's going to be no no accidents no no slips no trips no falls Uh uh-huh um now i did see a lot of like backstage footage over I think it was on TikTok or maybe Twitter Mm -hmm. of her backstage at the awards and she's just walking around very chill very yes and I loved it you know what I mean and had she had like a big heavy dress on you know it's like a whole entourage of people Mm -hmm. having to escort her around 
No, it was good. A good moment. So that was for Hollywood Unlocked. They have um, yeah, the I Impact don't, Awards. Yes, and then I don't know what any of that is, but if they invite Mariah and she arrives, then I'm down for it. It must be a thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> Shout out to them. Exactly. Yes. So that was a fun moment. That was a fun moment, but even more fun moment came just days later at the BET Awards. Yes. Now, if you have been listening to this program, this podcast, we have been talking about Mariah needing to perform Big Energy with Lotto. Mm -hmm. We've been wanting it on the Saturday Night Live. We've been wanting it on the uh, Billboard Music Awards. We've been wanting it every day, all day. And we've been wanting a music video. But what we did get served up was a very special surprise appearance by Mariah doing Big Energy Remix with Lotto at the BET Awards, and I could not be happier. It was a gaggy moment. Girl, gagged. Gagged. Where shall we start? Shall we? Well, well, let's, start with the big, well let's start with the fact that we had no inkling that it was even happening. Yes. Now, and it's it's just so random. And I love these big surprise moments. Yes. I love it. Now, I did hear whispers that Mariah may be attending. Where did you hear that? Well, online. Oh, I missed all that. Oh, see, I well, I was not paying too much close attention, but, and somebody had like name slipped her as they were walking the red carpet. So then like people started talking. Oh, in the moment. Yes. Like it was like sort of in the moment, like somebody, I think it was Tamar Braxton was um, interviewing somebody. Couldn't tell you who they were. I don't remember, but they, 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 she said, Oh, who are you excited to see? And they said, Mariah. And she's like, don't say that. Who said, who said, don't say that Tamar. Tamar. And she like went to cover his mouth. It's like, Oh, don't say that. The journalist knew. Tamar was the journalist. She oh. was the <laughs> what girl? <laughs> when did that happen? No, she was like one of the red carpet r- reporters or something. I think, but oh. yeah, she was asking him, and then she was like, "Oh no, don't say that." I think that's what happened. Oh yes, but again, because I, I was like, "Oh, Mariah's not there, girl. Girl, Mariah's not coming out the house." <laughs> But lo and behold, she did. And it was a huge surprise for all of us. Now, when Lotto performed, she did sort of like a a, a medley of her songs. Right. That first song. um, Boss. It's something. Whatever it is. It's on the album. It's good. It's 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 on the album, girl. Listen to it. But then I was like, oh, well, you know, if Mariah were going to be here, she'd be doing it. And but now I didn't know it was a mashup. But then when, when they went into big energy, mm-hmm. girl, it got sus. Absolutely. We knew it was happening. I knew it was happening. Yes. Also, I loved that that instead of um, the other guy, they brought out Young Dirty Bastard. Oh, my God. Amazing. Yes. Because right? I forgot that he was doing that act. I forgot that he was like, um, he was called himself Young Dirty Bastard. Yeah. So I was like, oh, wow, that's cool that he's here. Yeah. I mean, it really all sort of fit. It was like the perfect moment. It was. It was. Everything was how it should be. And I'll also say overall, because I watched the entire award show, it was really good because there were generations of artists there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They were doing a, a, I guess, a tribute to P. Diddy or Puffy, mm-hmm. whatever they call him now. Yeah. And he had so many people. Lil' Kim, Mary J. Then we have people like Brandy. Mm-hmm. We have Mariah, obviously. Mm-hmm. And so it's all these sort of legendary people or longtime acts, very, you know, well known. And then we have all these younger new people like the Lottos. So when at the end, when she handed the flowers, mm-hmm. I feel like they were doing that kind of baton passing from, you know, you know, one generation to the next, the entire show Mm -hmm. for a lot of the, a lot of the artists, a lot of the performances sort Mm -hmm. of like had that respect there. So this was perfection. Yes. Um, Mad at them because they dissed little Nas X. Okay. Okay. Yes, I know. I know the whole drama with the little Nas X didn't get nominated, didn't get invited. All this that was, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. And but they they tried saving themselves because they did like that whole Billy Porter voguing thing. So mm-hmm. they were trying to be like, you know, inclusive. Mm-hmm. But girl, well, he said that they were mad at him because he kissed one of his dancers last year. Yes, yes. And now he's that sort bent of, you out of shape. And isn't BET the same people who were doing that to Love B? Love B. Yes, Scott years they ago. They are those people. They are those people. So we should not be surprised. No. However, you know, we love that they love Mariah and all of that. Yes. But let's go, speaking of Mariah, let's circle back. 
for that. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about the performance, Mariah's performance. Yes, 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 yes. So the, the opening for Mariah, iconic. Yes. Okay. So a lot of like does her line me got Mimi on the remix. Mm-hmm. And then that turns into like, uh oh. What? And then she steps aside and we get the silhouette moment. Yes. We love a silhouette moment. Okay. Now this is where the trickery was good because I'm looking at it thinking, is Mariah really, is that really a silhouette and there's some sort of special effect butterfly thing that's happening? Or is that all like just a video screen? I think it was all video screen, but it was very lifelike. It was lifelike very well done. Because she seemed to be in sync with it behind the stage when the screen went up. Her arm was in sync with it. That's well, why. I mean... I mean, you, yes, girl, because that's, that's, that's the whole trick of it. I was <laughs> it's fooled. supposed to be. Listen, I've been fooled by it. No, but I think, I think it was definitely like a video effects and whatnot. But yeah, you want it to seem like it's real. You want it to have that ethereal sort of Mariah-ness to it. And it was good. It was so good. Yes. It was so good. And the crowd, when that screen rose up and she was actually there, mm-hmm. oh, the crowd went wild. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were loving it. They were absolutely loving it. People love Mariah. I don't know why people are out here acting like they don't love Mariah when they love Mariah. I know. They love Mariah. So stop trying to act like you don't love Mariah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, so that happened. So that was a gaggy reveal. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fun, fun. Now she comes out in this gorgeous gown. When the, gown. when the gown <laughs> is right. Gown. That was a good gown. When the gown is right, the gown is right. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Dolce & Gabbana gown, and I think they called it like a liquid gold. Oh. So it was, I think it was velvet. Black velvet. Black velvet with like a liquid gold, whatever they, whatever that material was. But it was lined in gold, and then the train was like this beautiful golden color. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Yeah, but if you notice, that was the vibe of the whole performance. Lado's in the same look, mm-hmm, black mm-hmm. velvet yes. and gold, and the dancers too. Yes, That's, absolutely. That was the whole theme. Yes, and, but Mariah looked more fabulous than all of them. Yes, she yeah. did. <laughs> she did, she did. No, every, everything was good. The, the whole staging and production of the overall performance was amazing, even outside of, you know, Mariah's part. Mm-hmm. But yes, I mean, she came in there and she was the queen that she is. Yes, and live high notes. Oh, I think the mic was on, honey. On, 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 uh-huh. on, on, okay, all well, of it. Well, here's my complaint, as always, not enough. I wanted them all. I know, I know. It was sort of a short performance, but... Sort of a short... <laughs> well, I guess it was less than a minute. Was it less than a minute? I feel like less than... <laughs> Less, 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 less than less than a minute than a minute. Yeah. Uh, it could have been, but I, but again, it's it, to me, I feel it was more about the impact, mm-hmm. you know, and having that like crowd go wild moment. Yes. That surprise moment. It was more about that than it was, you know, Mariah being there for the whole song and doing whatever, you know, her two or three verses or mm-hmm. two or three choruses or whatever. It was, it was about the impact. And I think they pulled it off beautifully. It's true, and it's TV. But, you know, I just want more out of that. Because you, you know us, we're never satisfied. Never satisfied, but we had Young Dirty Bastard there. Why didn't we do a fun little, what you're going to do when you get out of jail? I, I'm going to yeah. do a remix. Like, mm-hmm. do something with that. Yeah. He's around. I agree. I agree. There's so many great things. Lotto and him could have been doing a back and forth. Mm-hmm. Like, we could have been doing fun things. So many fun things. So yeah. many fun things. But let me tell you, I was having fun when I was watching it. Uh-huh. So it was oh, still it was good. Fun. It, was it, was fun. Fun. it was fun. It was all good, good fun. <laughs> Um, but yes, I, I, I was, and I was loving the high notes, loving the high notes. Yes. All of it. And the, and the flowers. And then they just, yes. you know, when, when Lotto came over at the end and Mariah was like, you know, you sing, you, you know, mm-hmm. yes, girl, you're here too. You know, all of that kind of stuff. I thought all that was really cute. Mm-hmm. And like, sort of like that ending moment when they sort of, you know, gave a hug to each other. So cute. cute. I love that. They love each other. I'm enjoying Lotto a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all- warming up to her. Yeah. I'm warming up. Yeah. 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 She's so- fun. Yeah, she's out here doing it. I mean, she also won um, Best New Artist. Best New Artist. Yeah. So that was a big thing for her as well. Did you see her speech and her big old earring had fallen off? I didn't see the speech. Oh, girl. Well, it was a cute speech. She started crying, all that stuff. But she had these big old hula hoop earrings. Oh, yeah. Girl, the earring was just falling. <laughs> girl, I mean, huge. And it just fell right off. She's like, oop, there goes my earring. <laughs> yeah, girl, we noticed. Did you like Lizzo's opening? <clears throat> Oh, Lizzo was fun too. She's fun, right? I think there were a lot of great performances, actually. Mm-hmm. There were a lot. I, you know, I don't normally watch the BET awards unless somebody I know. And usually 
uh, most award shows, I just go and I watch the performances on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But this one, I actually sat and watched the whole thing. And I was I was very, very happily uh, entertained. The show was a little long, mm. but I loved it. I loved it all. There was good there was good moments. I think they're making a comeback. Yeah. Well, I think like a, a lot of the performances were just good production. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They were. So even Lotto, like she opened up the show and she said, we're here to have fun, honey. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. So, oh my God. And then how about, and then Brandy came out. Brandy was oh, there. Oh my God, there's so many good things. But then what about, there was like a lot of sort of like audience footage um, where Brandy and Tamar were talking about, oh my God, did you see Mariah? Did you see Mariah? Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, girl. And then Brandy like pulled out her, she's like, I gotta call her. I love it. I love that Brandy is just like so gaga over Mariah. It's amazing. But then did you did you see that Tamar was like, oh, yeah, I got me a butterfly in my purse. Oh, I fell from the sky. Yes, because all the butterflies, which were giving us very much the Adventures of Mini, Mini Tour. Tour. I have one too. Yes, girl, we all got the butterflies. Yeah. But I love that Tamar was like, yep, I, I snatched me some butterflies <laughs> and put it in my purse. I was like, girl, you crazy, just like us. <laughs> um, hey, speaking of Brandy, yes. what do you think of her getting signed to Motown? Good for her. Absolutely. Brandy's out here doing it, honey. Well, then it just turned me into thinking, is that where we want Mariah to end up? On Motown? Mm. Eventually. Later. Well, maybe. I don't know. It depends. If she can take her whole catalog with her, which That's I think she thing, could. The whole catalog. But I think, I don't know. For right now, I think she's good where she is, but... Yeah, let's not be upsetting. Yeah, no, no, don't be upsetting any labels. Don't make any drastic moves. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm happy and I'm looking forward to new Brandy music as I always am. Mm, so mm -hmm. good for her. Yes, but they, the BET Awards had like such big ratings. It was like one of the best rated shows of the night. Yes. Uh, overall. And I think it had a lot to do with, you know, Mariah. Uh -huh. And like all these legendary acts being there. Yes. You know, yes. so I think that's how you put on a good award show. I will say it was very entertaining. Mm -hmm. So very happy about it. Yes, it was. Yes, indeed. And Mariah's back on the stage, girl. I know. I know. All right. I think we tend to wrap this up. Yes. We want to know what you think about the BET Awards. Yes. Love it, not love it. What, did, what were your highlights? Low lights? <laughs> like, all of that. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Hit us up in the comment section on YouTube. And while you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe on our channel. Mm -hmm. Also follow us on your favorite podcast app because it helps the show grow, recommends it to other people. All um, that good stuff. And if you want to help support the show on Patreon, you can do that as well. Just go to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. And for as little as $5. Boom. You can you can get all of it behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, all the scenes, the kitchen table talk, all of it. Cancel anytime as well. Come and go, do whatever you want, but it helps us out paying the bills, etc. And there's a brand new um, perk. We're now uploading the raw tape. <laughs> yes, the whole thing from beginning to end. You get the pre-show, <laughs> the uh, this episode without ads, ad free. And then there's no editing. So you just hear us chit chatting. Doing all, whatever. <laughs> yes, all the, all the stuff from behind the scenes. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're trying it out. So go <laughs> head over to Patreon if you want to hear that. Yes. And as always, we will be back next week. Hopefully we get some more Mariah moments in these streets. You never know these it, days. Shocking and surprising. Yes. Any minute, any day. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Yes. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.